Bell P-63, King Cobra. History of the Aircraft The Bell P-63 King Cobra is an American fighter aircraft developed by Bell Aircraft during World War II. Based on the previous Bell P-39 era Cobra model, the P-63 design incorporated suggestions from P-39 pilots and was superior to its predecessor in almost every way. The P-63 was not accepted for combat use by the United States Army Air Forces. However, it was used during World War II by the Soviet Air Force, who were also the most prolific users of the P-39. The Bell P-63 King Cobra aircraft became the only one of all the single-engine U.S. Army fighters that began development after Pearl Harbor, which was introduced into mass production before the end of World War II. The King Cobra was an attempt to significantly improve the flight and tactical characteristics of the P-39 era Cobra fighter, and, although it resembled its predecessor outwardly, in fact, it was a new aircraft. The main innovations were the installation of a more powerful engine and the use of a laminar wing profile. The transition stage to the new machine was the XP-39E, a modified era Cobra, three copies of which were tested in 1941. But even before the first flight of the XP-39E, in June 1941, two prototypes of the new XP-63 fighter were ordered, retaining the Allison V-171047 engine, but enlarged in size. The engine received a second boost stage, which allowed to raise the ceiling by a good 9,840 feet. In September 1942, even before the first flight of the XP-63 the U.S. Army Air Force ordered a serial batch under the designation P-63A. The armament had to match the one installed on the P-39Q, a 1.5 in cannon firing through the propeller shaft, and 4 times 0.50 in machine guns, two synchronous and two in underwing nacellas. The first prototype of the XP-63 was tested on December 7, 1942, the second, on February 5, 1943, but soon both cars were lost in accidents. Nevertheless, the work continued, in April 1943, for the first time, the standard for the series took to the air. The V-1710-93 engine, 1,500 horsepower, WAS installed on it. Serial production at the Bell plant in Buffalo began in October 1943. In the U.S. Army Air Force, the King Cobra, despite its improved high-altitude characteristics, was considered a low-altitude attack fighter, but this niche was already firmly occupied by the Thunderbolt. As a result, the P-63A was armed with only three squadrons, the 31st, 444th and 445th, but even in them such aircraft remained only a few months, and did not participate in combat operations. In the post-war period, the P-63 remained in service with the Soviet Air Force until 1953. They were manned by units and formations of fighter aircraft stationed not only on the territory of the country, but also abroad, in Germany, Austria, China, Port Arthur. The regiments of naval aviation of the Black Sea, Baltic and Northern fleets also received them. For the training of pilots, the conversion of the P-63 into two, seat training was adjusted. Such alterations were carried out by workshops in Cholet, P-63U, and Tbilisi, P-63B. About 300 copies of the P-63S, according to other sources, 200 or even 114 units, were received by France in 1945. Two P-63A aircraft were handed over to Great Britain for testing, and Honduras received five P-63E after the war. In general, the King Cobra met the requirements for which it was created. Another thing is that these requirements themselves were already outdated by the time the aircraft appeared. Bell P-63, King Cobra. Technical Specifications Power Plant 1 times Allison V-1710 to 117 volts 12 liquid-cooled piston engine, 1,800 horsepower. Crew. 1. Length, 32 feet 8 inches. Wingspan. 38 feet 4 inches. Height. 12 feet 7 inches. Wing area. 248 square feet. Empty weight. 6,800 pounds. Gross weight. 8,800 pounds. Max takeoff weight. 10,700 pounds. Maximum speed. 410 miles per hour. Range. 450 miles. Service ceiling. 43,000 feet. Rate of climb. 2,500 feet per minute. Wing loading. 
35.48 pounds per square foot. Armament. Guns. 1 times 1. 5 in M4 cannon firing through the propeller hub. From the A9 version of the aircraft onward, the M4 gun was replaced with a slightly improved M1037 mm cannon, which used a disintegrating link ammunition belt, increasing the ammo capacity to 58 rounds. The M10 also had a slightly higher rate of fire. 4 times 0. 50 in M2 Browning machine guns, 2 synchronized in the nose, 2 in the wings. Bombs. 1,500 pounds, 680 kilograms, bomb load on wing and. 